Hey guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play something extremely cool. Wait a minute, I do that in all my videos. No, but seriously, I'm going to teach you how to play thrash metal music on a seven string guitar. I'm going to actually give you three different thrash metal guitar lessons that you can learn how to play on a seven string and you guys can practice this over and over and it will help you become a better overall guitar player but also a better seven string guitar player. So we're going to start out with the first riff and this is going to be more like a classic palm muting with power chords riff here. It's going to sound like this. Okay, so the first riff that we're gonna learn, which you just heard, this is really based on a classic style of thrash metal playing, and it's really kind of like the foundation of thrash metal music. We've got some palm muting, that jing, 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 and then we're moving around some power chords. Here's the riff, I'm gonna play it for you kind of just by itself without the music, and then I'm gonna break it down note for note, and we will learn how to play it. So again, very, very simple. We're not doing anything complex here, but again, you know, the purpose of this lesson is to really get us used to playing the thrash metal style of music on a seven string, because we're used to playing it on a six string guitar. If you're new at playing a seven string, you know that there is a jump, there's a difference, it's kind of a learning curve, so that's kind of what we're doing here. It's like we're in school, but we're learning really cool stuff instead of the crappy stuff we learned in like, you know, school. We're starting out by palm muting that B stream. We're palm muting that a few times and then we start moving those power chords around and I think this part of the lesson is very very important because too many times metal players especially when you jump to a seven string we tend to just hang on those notes. That sounds cool, there's a place for it, but you don't want to get stagnant with that because it's easy just to like, oh man, I'm playing some heavy chords, and that's all you play. So again, we're moving those power chords around. Getting some movement is kind of like working out and exercising. You know, you gotta move the body around to stay healthy and in shape, and I'm going off on a tangent now. So back to the lesson. We're gonna be going straight to that, those first and second strings. We're just playing the power chords on the first and second strings, the B and the E. And um, we're going to be on that 6th fret, so 6 and 8. And we're just going from that 6, 8 to a 5, 7. 6, 8 to 5, 7. And I'm kind of sliding that up, so I'm kind of playing those kind of really fast together. So we slide up from the 6, 8 to 5, 7, and then we palm mute a few more times. Uh, I think it's a couple more times. And then we slide up from the 5, 7 to the 3, 5. Then we palm mute again. Then we go from that 3, 5 back to just that regular power chord. So again. Now the second time around, I do something just a little different. You know, we go through really the same chord structure there, but that last little chord is going from what used to be an F, because we were used to playing the six string guitar, but actually it's gonna be a C. So instead of, we're going. So I'll play it all the way through here. Let's move on to the second thrash metal riff that you're going to learn how to play on a 7 string. Hopefully I 
exactly remember how to play this because sometimes I'll write stuff. Dill, <laughs> you called me out on this. <laughs> uh, Dill Roberts, we were chatting the other day and he's like, dude, you know, I watched one of your videos and I was like, you know, he probably just came up with that off the fly. I bet he doesn't even remember what he played. And dude, Dill, you're right. So yeah, I rarely do I remember what I play. He's actually you know, an acclaimed author and actually I'll throw his link in this video because uh, he actually helped me release my first real book, Heavy Metal and Weights. I know some of you guys have read that and thank you. This is an important riff for playing thrash metal because now we've practiced the palm muting, the chin chin chin, kind of the slower palm muting, the heavy and moving around those power chords. And we're gonna be moving around a little bit more, a little bit faster this time around. Around. So we're going to be doing the palm muting, but with alternate picking instead of downstrokes. Here's the riff. I'll play it through and then I'll break it down for you guys. I just love the way that sounds, especially on a seven string. It sounds cool on a six string, but man, seven string is just bro. Just that like more meat and potatoes on your plate, which that sounds pretty good right now. So we're starting out on that B string and we're kind of doing like a hammer on to that second fret. Now, as soon as we hit that second fret, as soon as we hammer down on that, we attack it with that speed pick. So what I want you guys to do, if you're kind of new at this or if, or if this lesson is challenging for you, you will master it, I promise you. And I'm gonna show you how. I want you just to simply practice what I just did. Just hammer away at this one technique because once you learn this and, and if you've already learned this just you know kind of hang in there with me I'll be done in a few seconds but this is for really folks that are having a hard time with this specific part because I know it was challenging for me when I first learned it so I want you to I want you to just hang on that and just practice it after you finish that piece that last little piece I kind of do like a quick alternate pick and back you know from the second string then back to the open string then hit the G it's kind of almost like a, a pick and a hammer on the same time you're going from that you know zero to zero then to the G really quickly so let me try to slow this part down Now again, it's better to learn these riffs in phases. Practice the first part of that. You know, keep doing that, and then bring in that G power chord there where you're going. So if you need to stop the video now, guys, if you need to pause it real quick and just go over those pieces there, please do that. You know, get that part mastered before you start going into the riff that we're about to learn. So the second time around, the first time we do this, the second time around, we're going to do the same thing starting out. But we're gonna throw a riff in there at the end. And it's just really a simple walk down. Sometimes these walk downs look a lot fancier than what they are. They still sound cool. But all we're doing is. So let's slow that down. Now to simplify this, we're only playing that riff on two strings, the B and the E strings. We're starting out on that E, and again, it's a very simple walk down. We walk down, come back a little bit, walk back down, back a little bit, and finish. So kind of kind of get that in your head, uh, and that will help you, you know, translate that onto the fretboard, I think. I hope. Let me know if that philosophy works. <laughs> it works for me. So what we're doing is, again, it's pretty simple. We're starting on that fifth fret. And we're just walking down. We're going to be using frets five, four, and two. Going to go back and forth just a little bit there. And then the next string over, we're really going to be using the same frets, five, four, and two. But we're also going to add the zero fret or no fret. I think that's the same thing. <laughs> So 
So just practice that riff to get the notes down, then throw in that first part. Alright guys, now for the third and final thrash metal riff that you're going to play on your 7 string. So this is another really classic thrash metal style riff. We're gonna go back to the downstrokes and the heavy palm muting, ching, 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 ching. But we're gonna add some really cool riffs in here and they're gonna be a little bit more choppy, okay? And there's gonna be some power chord playing in here as well. Uh, what I like to give you guys is, is not just like one part of a lesson. I want you guys to combine different techniques. Like we could do a whole lesson on just palm muting. But I'd really rather you guys, you know, break the lessons up in like micro lessons, learn that part, but learn how to play all these techniques in one. So that's what this third and final lesson is. So here we go. I'm going to play it all the way through uh, without the music here. And then I will break it down note for note. <laughs> So there's two things that we're doing a little bit different here. We're kind of adding in. We're doing a hammer on and pull off. This little part where we did this. And then I'm also doing a really cool sounding two string power chord. Uh, and it's kind of like a half power chord or two thirds of a power chord, whatever. But basically we're gonna be barring two notes. When I say barring, I don't mean going to the bar, guys. We can do that too, but just wait for the lesson to be over before you go to the bar. Anyway, so we're barring two notes and those notes are the fifth note and the octave of what you would play for a power chord. <laughs> Now, I've heard a lot of, especially a lot of older Megadeth songs use this technique. You know, it takes a little bit of the beef because you're not getting that heavy note in there, but it adds an edge to your sound. So if you're playing like regular power chords and then you throw in this type of power chord with just that fifth and that octave, it just gives it a really nice edge to the song. I know there's a technical name for that, so if you guys know what that is, please leave that in the comments. You guys know me, I'm not very technical. So, again, it's just a slide up. All right, so now let's go through the notes. Again, we're starting out palm muting. We're gonna be playing some choppy single note uh, riffs here, and it's just gonna sound cool. So here we go. The first part of it is like this. This first part, let's work on that. I'm palm muting. And then we're hitting those single notes, palm muting the first string open, then hitting those single notes on that second string, the E string. Let's play this a little bit slower. Now you want to try to articulate that the best way possible. Sometimes if you're playing fast, you know, you're not going to hear all of those notes, but really try to focus on that hammer on so that you articulate each note. Five, seven, five, zero. Because sometimes it'll sound like five, seven, zero. But go. It's hard to do that real slow and make it sound good. So it's like. Now what I do, here's a little trick. Sometimes you'll get a lot of string noise when you do that. So what I do is I kind of have my palm like on standby ready back here so that I can quickly place my palm across the strings to stop any unwanted string noise. And then I quickly go, you know, to the next thing that I'm going to be playing, which I forgot what it is. We're just going right back to that power, that, you know, first power chord, that E, not E, B. See, I still get confused playing six string versus seven string here. Once we get past that part, we are going to do our, our bar chords here. Remember the fifth note of your power chord and the octave. So all I'm doing 
one is sliding up from those, again, we're on the E and the A string there, second fret to third. I'm just barring and sliding up. Then I hit that B, that B palm mute just once, and then go to the C, the heavy C. So again, break this up into little micro segments here. It's kind of a quick wrist and pick action there, but it does sound cool. And if you have trouble, again, if you have trouble with any of the parts in here, just pause the video and practice it over and over and then push play and go to the next part. I encourage you to really focus on this part because it's going to help you in your songwriting and playing other songs as well as you learn them because there's a lot of songs that do this type of rhythm to where you go from like a quick to that power chord like that. So that's cool, practice that. Now, the second time around on this entire riff that we're learning here, you do really the same thing, but I end it a little bit differently. Instead of, I kind of throw in another chord there, which is gonna be an F. So I'm gonna go like this. So same thing, you're barring those chords palm muting that first string open then instead of going straight to that C you're going to the F so F to C instead of just to C and in between that F to C you're gonna palm mute that open B one more time so again that second time around you're gonna end like this So let's go through this one more time. And now for the ultimate question. Actually, I have two questions for you. Did you find this video to be helpful? Did this video help you become a better guitar player? Now, secondly, which of the three thrash metal guitar lessons did you enjoy the most? Or rather, which one was the most challenging? Because you may find some elements in a specific lesson there that you may have a little bit harder time with. You're like, okay, I need to learn this part. You know, again, guys, you can always pause the video, practice those parts, you know, learn these like in micro steps. If, if you find a lesson was challenging, you know, just pause it at a certain place and really practice that one part and get it down, then push play and go to the next one. You know, learn that way in, in like these little micro steps like a micro course or something I'm trying to think of a cool name I can't think of it you'll learn it in like baby steps break it down learn it piece by piece now if you are transitioning or if you're thinking about transitioning from a six string guitar kind of like this to a seven string guitar just make the jump I did it about a year ago and if it's one of those things it's like just punching you in the soul it's keeping you up at night it's like you know been thinking about going to a seven string for a long time you'll just go ahead and make the jump it is a little scary i'll admit and it's a little bit intimidating i mean i've been playing guitar since 1990 you know you do the math uh and i just bought the seven string like i don't know a year ago this is my esp e2 horizon fr7 and i love this thing it plays awesome but it was a bit intimidating at first however i've got you covered because if you go in the youtube description of this video i have got a playlist of seven string metal guitar lessons and i'm going to be doing more videos on seven string and i'll put those in the playlist so you're always going to have that to go by so yeah hey if you're thinking about making the jump and you've got the funds to buy a seven string hey make the jump don't get rid of your six string keep that i didn't get rid of any of my six string guitars uh, but do make the jump and start learning. I will help you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate your support. And until the next video, as always, keep it metal.